Welcome to Stober's installation and maintenance video series. These videos are designed for you, the customer, to learn how to install, service, and remove Stober reducers and parts. When you first receive your Stober product, check the shipping label on the box for the part number and other important information. Make sure the part is the correct size and type for your installation. Inside the box, you will find an installation and startup instruction sheet for proper mounting and safety procedures, as well as a paper motor gauge to help you mount the motor to the gearbox. All of Stober's products have a nameplate, which should be checked after unpacking. The reducer's nameplate will provide its part number, serial number, mounting position, and other information specific to that product. Stober can add a customer part number on our nameplate for the customer's convenience. Visually inspect the reducer after unpacking and check for damage to the surface or coating. Nylon bolts have been installed prior to shipping to reduce the risk of compromising the coating. These nylon bolts are located on side 1 and side 5 of the reducer. These bolts should not be removed until the holes are being utilized during installation. The K-Series food or beverage reducer and the KSS, our stainless steel version, can be mounted in any horizontal output position. These positions are identified as EL1, EL2, EL5, and EL6. Vertical output mounting for the K-Series in EL3, EL4, and the KSS series in E3-4 are also available, but will need to be specified when quoting or ordering. The KL reducer can be mounted in any mounting position. For wobble-free bushing installation, determine which side of the reducer is the clamp side and which side is the support side. The support side is the side closest to the equipment or inboard side. The wobble-free bushing kit is boxed separately from the reducer. Inside the box, you will find a detailed instruction sheet along with a hardware package and all components needed to mount the reducer on the shaft. The bushing kit includes a solid cover for the outboard, or clamp side, of the reducer. The bushing kit also has a split cover for the inboard, or support side, of the reducer. The bushing system itself is two assemblies. These assemblies consist of the tapered cones, which slide into the bore of the reducer, and the flange cones assemblies. KL, K1, and KSS1 units do not have a tapered cone, as the taper is machined into the hollow bore. The support side flanged cone is Teflon coated and will appear gray and dull while the clamp side is not coated. The Teflon coat will also allow the bushing to slide across the shaft for ease of assembly. A quick way to ensure the bushing is the correct size for the shaft is to test fit the support and clamp side cone assemblies onto the shaft prior to mounting. Stober, geared to a higher standard.